Minimalism, a lifestyle that focuses on simplicity and removing excesses in order to create space for what truly matters. But if you're someone like me that has bills to pay and works for someone else, you cannot just eliminate everything. You still need to show up, you still need to attend boring meetings that could have just been an email, and you still need to do meaningless tasks that you really don't want to. There are a bunch of things though that you can do, that I do, to apply minimalism at work. And it all starts by cleaning your environment. More precisely with your desk, where I'm right now. Just clean it. By it, I mean remove unnecessary items. Keep only the essentials that you really need to work. This will not only make your workspace cleaner and more organized, but will also help you to reduce distractions and increase your focus. But I also keep things like this plant and a candle. It actually makes it a little bit more cozy and not just an uninspiring office table with a screen, keyboard and a mouse. Oh, and also, <laughs> if it's weekday, coffee, because yeah, I really need coffee. Once your desk is clean, head over to your digital desk. Clean your computer desktop, get rid of unnecessary files, create folders, punch everything into folders. This will make your computer faster, look nicer, and it will make you more productive. Now that your environment is clean, we can get to work. How are you gonna apply minimalism to your work? There are five different things you can do and start implementing literally just now, as soon as you finish this video. Every morning, review your to-do list, review your emails, and identify the tasks that you really need to complete that day. Eliminate the ones that are not essential or that perhaps you can delegate to someone else. This way, you can free up time for more important tasks. Take a look at every meeting and answer these three questions. Do I really need to attend this meeting? What will my role be in this meeting? Can it be summarized in a five minute email? A lot of times we have meetings that are really, really useless. And answering these three questions will actually help you to find out whether you should be in a meeting or not. While you're checking your to-do list, Prioritize your tasks. Use the Pareto principle to identify the most important tasks that would yield the greatest results and prioritize those tasks. If you don't know what the Pareto principle is, it basically states that 80% of the results come from 20% of the work. By prioritizing your task, you will really be able to focus on the things that matter to your work. If your work doesn't count to replying to emails, but you reply emails all day, just eliminate that part. But if your work is actually replying to emails, just do it. Now, the next one on the list is to reduce distractions. And this one is really straightforward. You eliminate or reduce distractions that keep you from being productive. Turn off notifications, close unnecessary tabs or apps, and limit time spent on social media during work hours. It's really easy to get a notification of Instagram or WhatsApp and then just all of a sudden you lose one or two hours working actually not working. A great tip I learned from the four hour work week is to really check the email twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, or maybe at lunch. At the beginning, it might really feel unnatural not to like get an email and reply to it straight away, but just think that someone sends an email and they don't really expect you to reply straight away, right? Otherwise, they would be calling you, they would be sending you a chat. Another thing you should do is to create a minimal workflow. This means basically streamlining your work. Using tools and software that are efficient and effective in helping you complete tasks quickly and easily. Think of applications like Notion, Trello, Slack, Google Suite and Toggle. Notion can be used as the powerhouse for your work. Think of it like the app to organize your notes, ideas, to-do list in one place. You can even create mood works. Mood boards. Trello is a project management tool that can help you organize and prioritize tasks. You can use it to manage your project and collaborate with others in real time. Slack can be used as a communication tool that will allow you to send direct messages, create channels and share files with colleagues. It can also help you reduce email clutter and streamlining communication. An app that is quite interesting and could be used to monitor the time you spend on a task or project is Toggle. I think I said it right. Toggle can help you identify time wasters and really track your time. Be more efficient also with managing your time. And last and probably the most important thing you can do at work is to be effective in your communication. Be mindful of the way you communicate. Avoid over explaining or using complicated jargon. Clarify and summarize. 
If you're unsure about something, just ask questions. No one really cares if you ask questions. Just ask. And last, stay present. Just be there. Listen. Be active in the conversation. This will help you still focus and engage in the conversation. I can assure that if you apply these principles of minimalism to your 9 to 5, you will be able to be more efficient and more productive at work. <laughs>